find the one every time. So before I spoke a word, mm, yeah. before I spoke a word, you were singing over me, mm. and you have been so so good to me. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. For I took a breath, you breathed your life in me, yeah. and you have been so so kind. Come on, every voice lift it all. Hello.
read this scripture to us. It's out of Luke 15. Sometimes people get confused by it, but I feel like the Lord's all over it tonight. I want to read it to us. It says, now the tax collectors and sinners are all gathering around to hear Jesus. The Pharisees and teachers of the law mutter. This man welcomes the sinners and eats with them. The religious people are mad. It sets the stage and Jesus pipes up. He told them this parable. He says, suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And after he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and he goes home. He calls his friends, he calls his neighbors together and says, rejoice with me because I've found my lost sheep. And I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who don't. (laughs) man he's that good I want to just read a couple thoughts just share a little bit of the story behind this song and then we'll sing that bridge one more time and we'll go nuts we'll see what happens so when I use the the phrase the reckless love of God when we say it we're not saying that God himself is reckless he's not crazy we are however saying that the way he loves is in many regards quite so but what I mean is this He's utterly unconcerned with the consequences of his actions with regard to his own safety, comfort, and well-being. His love isn't crafty or slick. It's not cunning or shrewd. In fact, all things considered, it's quite childlike. And might I even suggest sometimes downright ridiculous. His love bankrupted heaven for you, for me. His love doesn't consider himself first. It isn't selfish or self-serving. He doesn't wonder what he'll gain or lose by putting himself on the line. He simply puts himself out there on the off chance that you and I might look back at him and give him that love in return. His love leaves the 99 to find the one every time. And to, to many practical adults, that's a foolish concept. But what if he loses the 99 and finding the one, right? What if? Finding that one lost sheep is and will always be supremely important. His love isn't cautious. It's a love that sent his own son to die a gruesome death on a cross. There's no plan B with the love of God. He gives his heart so completely, so preposterously, that if refused, we would think it irreparably broken. Yet he gives himself away again and again and again and again, time and time again. Make no mistake, our sins do pain his heart, and 70 times 7 is a lot of times to get your heart broken. And yet he opens up and allows us back in every single time. His love saw you when you hated him, and all logic said, they'll reject me. He said, no, I don't care what it costs me. I lay my life on the line as long as I get their hearts. To make it personal, his love saw me, broken down kid, with regret as deep as the ocean. My innocence and youth poured out like water. And he found me and he put me on his shoulders. And he carried me on. Because he's just that good. He's just that kind. He's a father that never gives up. So as we sing this bridge and chorus one more time, just let it let it break down those walls tonight. There's no shadow. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. Yeah. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Yeah, again. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming at me. He's breaking off self-hatred tonight. There's no wall you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down, coming at me. There's no shadow now. There's no shadow you won't light up. 